Hello, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on adding images to your Twine stories using the chapbook format. Let's jump right into it. So um, I've got a chapbook Twine uh, editor open here, and I got I got no stories. So I'm going to make a story real quick, adding images, and I'm going to show you really quick how to add images to your Twine stories. So I'll start off with some text. We'll just say, like, here's an image. Um, and to add your image to this passage, uh, we need to use some special notation. So uh, if, I, if I test this right now, it's just going to show the text, which should be familiar. Um, let, let's add some, some of that image notation. So um, to make an image, you start with the opening curly bracket, and then you type the word embed. This is going to tell the computer to embed <laughs> an image uh, into the passage, uh, which just means it's going to in, like insert it in place. And then we need the word image followed by colon. And now this is where it gets a little bit, just a, just a little bit technical. Uh, it's not, <laughs> it's not too bad. But we need to find a link to an image um, that the computer can find via the internet. So we're going to search the internet for an image link, and uh, that's what we're going to put after the colon here. Uh, so to make that happen, I'm going to go to the internet, and I will do a a little Google search. Um, let's just do code Virginia logo. We want we get a bunch of images here. Uh, this is an image. Let's do that. So I'm going to go into my image and then I'm going to right click and find copy image link or something similar like that. Uh, and then I'm going to go back to Twine and paste. Now you can tell that you have the right link if your link ends with an image extension. So .jpg or jpeg, that's an image extension. You might see like png is another common one or jpeg, which is another way of spelling jpeg. Um, you really just want to make sure that this link actually points to an image and not somewhere else on the internet. Uh, and then the most important part, we're going to enclose this image link in quotation marks. Super important. The computer's not going to know uh, what you're trying to do if you don't use those uh, quotation marks. One last step, and <laughs> the last thing we have to do here is put a comma and then the word alt. Uh, alt is a um, alt or alt text is a um, like a sentence that describes the image. So I'm in quotation marks again, I'm going to put um, the code VA logo. Uh, close quotation marks. That's the last thing we need to add to this uh, image embedding code. So to finish out, I'm going to do a closing curly bracket, and you'll see that the editor turns it purple, which is a good indication that stuff's sort of working the way we want. All right, I think we're ready to test. So I'll hit test from here, and there's our image. That's adding images. <laughs> it's not, not too bad at all. Um, there uh, are a couple other special ways to add images. There's this website called Unsplash, um, which is a uh, like an image, you know, uh, like uh, resource, you know, you can get images for free here that are, it's it's okay to use. So uh, let's do moon, find a moon picture. Here's a, here's a good moon picture. Um, and you can add Unsplash images with the chapbook twine story format really easily. Um, all you have to do is go to share, copy link, and then the chapbook twine format has a special way to do Unsplash images. You're still going to put it inside the quotation marks. Actually, let's let's do this below so you can com compare. Embed unsplash image. Uh, that's just the, another word unsplash because it's coming from the unsplash website. We use the quotation marks again, but in this case, we don't have to put a, a link that ends with that image extension because the chapbook twine format knows how to access images on unsplash. It's just kind of sort of like a little feature that's built in. Do the moon, add our alt text in quotation marks, and then a curly bracket to end. And let's test that out. And there's our moon image. Unsplash is a great place to get like sort of stock images for your uh, for your stories. They're free to use. Um, there's a lot of different options. Uh, pretty pretty good 
idea to, to do that if you'd like. But the last thing you might be wondering is like, well, what if I want to make my own images? I don't want to find an image online. I don't want to use Unsplash. I would rather make my make my own art to insert into the into the story. And that is totally a great idea. I love that. Um, it's a little bit complicated. You have to host your images somewhere. So you could, of course, upload your image to Unsplash, but then everyone in the world would be able to access it. And maybe you don't want that. Um, another good way to is to use Google Drive. Google Drive is a free kind of file storage service by Google. Uh, and you can upload your images to Google Drive, and then you can insert a link uh, to that image in your in your story. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. So the process is exactly the same. You say embed image, no unsplash because we're not using unsplash, just embed image. And then we got to find the link. There's a link that has to go here. Um, so what I'm going to do to get this link is I'm going to go to Google Drive. And I've already uploaded an image here. Uh, and I'm going to go over here to share. You can see we have share. Now, you, ha you have to change your sharing settings. You're, you're probably going to start with something that looks like this. You have to change it from restricted to anyone with the link. And then you're going to select viewer here. That is going to allow Twine to access your image. If it is restricted, then Twine won't be able to access your image and this won't work. So make sure you just update that. And then you're going to copy the link. Now you might be thinking to yourself, oh, I'll just paste the link here. But that's not how you do it. <laughs> There's a couple more steps. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paste the link in just so we can see it. Now check this link out. Uh, you've got this first part. But then you have after slash D, this like string of seemingly random numbers and letters. This is a super important part of the link. It's the file ID, the Google Drive file ID. And that's the part that we need in order to make our link for our image. So I'm going to copy that and then I'll delete the rest of my link. I don't need the rest of it. And then in the image field, I'm going to type the following drive.google.com and you're going to type it exactly the way I do. You see, okay, then a question mark, then ID equals, and then the file ID. You can close the quotation marks, then add a comma and your alt text the same way we do the other ones. Comic strip, and you're just going to describe that image and then finally close out with the curling brackets. This should work. <laughs> it's a little bit complicated. It's a little bit finicky. Um, let's just see if, if it did it right. Hey, there it is. It's great. Um, so that's how you add images. Uh, there's three different versions here. Uh, if you have trouble with this, uh, that is totally fine. I understand. Uh, Please get in the comments of this video. We would love to help. You can find a text version of this tutorial along with lots of other resources, videos, and examples at the, the link down in the description. So go check that out if you would like. Otherwise, good luck and happy coding.